Okay, so a whole bunch of Boruto stuff to talk about. A lot of people are really buzzing about the new ending of the anime, ending 12 fireworks because of Boruto seemingly using Sage Mode, which usually, the, to my knowledge, the openings and endings don't really show abilities that are possible to the characters way before they're even thought of or mentioned or anything like that. So a lot of people are buzzing about that. We also got a tiny teaser and spoiler for the upcoming chapter of Boruto, chapter 42. I want to say and we also got an alternate uh, summary for the upcoming Boruto episode Boruto 141 regarding the beginning of the Mujina Bandits Hozuki Castle aka Boruto goes to prison arc and uh, a little bit of information on Sarada with that so yeah without further ado let's talk about it no matter how you So Boruto ending 12 fireworks, a lot of people are buzzing about this because in this ending, Boruto, you could tell from his eyes, he has the little marks or whatever, and he's standing on a toad. He is using sage mode and a lot of people are saying, whoa, what the heck, what's going on here? How is that happening? Because at the end of the day, uh, up in the anime and uh, I mean, I don't want to really get into spoiler territory with the manga, but yeah spoiler he hasn't learned sage mode so a lot of people are like what the heck is going on is the boruto anime spoiling something is it hinting at something i mean i'm going to go out on a limb and say that they're just taking creative freedom uh it could mean two different things i mean it could mean a lot of things but in my mind they could either mean that the writers of the manga because they work very closely with the studio have possibly talked with the studio and confirmed that it's not happening so they felt that like you know Boruto is not going to learn sage mode at any given point he's not going to go to the uh, toad mountain or anything like that so they were like all right it's not going to happen anyway let's have some fun and do something interesting creative wise uh, for the ending or it could be that the Boruto manga you know told them hey it's going to happen at some given point so feel free to do it I'm not really sure but either way everybody's really talking about it and I think it'd be dope I think whether it's, you know, in between the time skip, whenever we get that uh, for the Boruto, you know, franchise in general, anime and manga, maybe Boruto goes to train with the Toads and it'd be really cool and nostalgia filled of like, yo, your father did this and Jiraiya did that. And I think it'll work so much cooler in the anime just because like, you know, Boruto met Jiraiya in the actual anime. So there'll be a lot of little cool things that they could do with that. Or, you know, again, it could be that they're never going to do it anyway so they did whatever or it could just be that hey they said we don't give a shit what's happening in the story we're doing this it looks cool creative wise because he's doing like I, I think he did like a water style at some point they just having fun with this so I, I wouldn't take too much stock into it either way uh for now just take it as they're just having some creative freedom to do what they want I mean don't get me wrong if they would have added Kawaki in there doing some crazy shit then I would have been like they're hinting at something but as it stands right now i think they're just having fun then let's talk about uh the manga preview upcoming boruto chapter chapter 42 and uh you know where we're at right now again spoilers for anime only boruto kawaki mitsuki and sarada of course are currently fighting against boro and uh we got a little bit of a teaser of the title of the chapter along with some information of i want to say from the magazine of the cover and little tidbits there so let's read it. for starters boruto chapter 42 is titled regeneration and if you remember the last chapter it was showing that Boro could regenerate so I'm imagining we're gonna see more of that which to be honest with you I'm not too keen on it just because it makes the character which is already you know hacks as hell and he's fighting these young kids even more hacks and I mean regeneration in anime and manga like ever since DBZ days with you know Cell and Majin Buu and it continued like eh, I'm not a big big fan of regeneration but also along which by the way this is all provided courtesy of Organic Dinosaur the the cover features solo Boruto with a fierce expression, an alternate red slash brown clothing color scheme, and a white shirt. Blue Karma is activated up to his eye, clutching his right arm, so maybe he's going to get injured in this battle very heavily on his right arm, and generic blue and gray cascading clouds in the background. So oh, we're going to get a cool color page, and I'm looking forward to seeing what this is going to lead to, if anything, regarding like maybe Boruto is going to get seriously injured, but also it seems to be that we're going to get more uh, regeneration from this. And also in a little V-Jump teaser, uh, Boruto Chapter 42 tease. Shinobi from Konoha, the new Team 7's team play. So maybe we're going to get some cool uh, move sets of them working together, which I think for merchandising 
purposes like you know the video games for example this is a good time to start showcasing like hey you know uh Te new team seven combo so if we ever get a storm five you know road to boruto storm five or some shit like that uh that would work so i'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with it i'm just hoping that this battle with boro doesn't last much longer because don't get me wrong i like this car arc and everything but it seems as though out of everything this fight in particular is somewhat dragging but i'm still not at that point where i'm like okay just end it already come on man because you know it, it's supposed to you know be a big battle these are one of the main members of car of this it's not like they're fighting the outers which i still think that it would have made more sense to fight a few more of the outers before we got straight to borrow like the owl fight was great and he was an outer like why we got to jump immediately to these members you know and then lastly a uh, new preview for episode 141 um and this is from weekly shonen jump number eight again this is the beginning of the mujina bandits arc uh, and it says boruto episode 141 ninja prison hozuki castle january 26th yeah we we know all this main header a penitentiary dedicated for shinobi hozuki castle their mission begins uh the caption is from shikamaru and naruto naruto makes boruto and mitsuki infiltrate hozuki castle as prisoners wow naruto you sending your son and his friend to a prison i mean i guess they're shinobi and he's trying to push his son and show that he don't have no favoritism so like hey you know i did it as a kid and, you know this is a induction to manhood ceremony for naruto i guess in his mind main summary they'll be guarding kokuri in a prison full of criminals ozuki castle is a penitentiary that is exclusively for shinobi and is managed by kusagakure village in prison there is kokuri a former member of the atrocious thieving organization called the mujina bandits who has betrayed them in order for boruto and mitsuki to protect kokuri from the assassins from the mujina they'll be infiltrating hozuki castle as prisoners and so the guard mission begins for team seven at a penitentiary that's difficult to break out of this week's sarada this is like more new right here uh stuff that we didn't get from the last summaries it says she'll get into hozuki castle using a different method than the others curious to see how that's gonna work disguising herself as a student okay disguising herself as a student and aspiring journalist sarada will be doing some news coverage about hozuki castle to try and obtain intel she'll be asking various questions to the head guard benga and the caption is from kokuri former member of the mujina bandits even though he stole money and deserted from the organization he was arrested for a different incident and is serving jail time for it so he basically deserted the mujina bandits but ultimately the law caught up to him and still nabbed him anyways and again i guess the new thing is uh, Sarada, the way she's getting in there is not going to be pretending to be a prisoner. She's going to pretend to be, uh, you know, a news reporter, which makes sense because it's not like in prisons. I mean, I guess they could have played around and do whatever they want because they got kids going into the prison system anyways. But, like, I don't think they put females with males. I mean, I guess she could have used a disguising jutsu or something like that, but eh, it wouldn't really have worked. It would have felt really awkward and weird. So there you have it. Again, just to recap, Boruto ending 12 fireworks, Boruto using sage mode just take it for it's just a cool ending if there's something leading to then hey I'll, I'll tell you guys but as of right now it doesn't seem like it's much other than a creative freedom expression thingy majig then uh the boruto manga regeneration um i'm expecting more of this boruto fight i'm just hoping that it doesn't last that much longer i mean you know whatever make it a great fight make it have an awesome finale but after a certain point it's like okay we've been fighting for about like what two or three chapters now which don't get me wrong two or three chapters isn't the most amount but you know <laughs> going back to the shinobi war i remember it'd be chapter upon chapter upon chapter of fights and this is like Boro's not the most interesting villain and then on top of that now he has regeneration which makes him more hacks let's get some shit going even though it says that we're gonna get more teamwork from them maybe some real cool combo sets which ultimately would be great for the games and then the anime uh again Sarada breaking in there with them I'm just excited to see what they do with this because it's loosely based off canon right now the canon stuff probably won't happen until after we get out of the Hozuki castle prison so yeah ton of Boruto stuff curious what you guys think most excited thing out of the three of these are you hype about boruto using sage mode you think that's foreshadowing something to come also what do you think about this regeneration how long or how much longer you think this battle against boro with the group is going to last and are you hyped or excited at all about this whole zuki castle mujina bandit stuff i mean it could be good or it could be more of periot just you know 
being Peria. We just gotta wait and see how they're gonna handle this. But that's all I have for this one though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links of course are in the description below. I'm from Neverworld. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga for life, boy. Have an awesome day. Peace in. Everything good always comes to an end. If you stab me in my back, we can never make amends. Trying to move to acceptance, hard to accept it. Mistakes like mirrors, gotta reflect it. I don't wanna fucking leave, but I gotta leave. Leave the maybes to the crazies. Maybe one day we, there I go admitting something in a subtle way. No more copies, leave without a trace. Last time, I'ma say last time. Moving on to the future, leave the memories as a pastime. Memories always feel like the worst. Letting all the past, leave it in a hurt. Sometimes I wanna lie, but I don't. Why lie when truthfully you get caught in it? Then usually it's all off and shit. Uncaught for shit. Now I'm off the shit. Maybe lately what I've been facing got me crazy No, I can't take it yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe